Simon Artus's poem My Father's Song takes the shape of a simple first person childhood memory story. It is structured into five stanzas of varying length. The syntax is conversational with the punctuation simply marking pauses and stops. The poem is framed by the first two lines wanting to say things I miss my father tonight and concluding stanza which begins I remember and ends with and my father saying things in between our memories each stanza bringing the memory to a solid physical reality of the soft damp sand the soft moist sand and a sand moist cold in the first stanza there is the physical memory of the voice moving out of his father's thin chest the second stanza is the memory of the specific activity of planting corn the memory deepens in the third stanza with the discovery of a nest of mice the fourth stanza focuses the memory more closely with the appearance of the tiny pink animals the final stanza connects this memory back to the father's voice let's see the summary of the poem It seems at first that the speaker is missing his father because he expresses a wish to say things to him. However, in line 3, it becomes apparent that it is his father's voice the son misses. He remembers it as a physical thing coming from his father's body. His father's voice becomes through the age of his chest a solid physical entity stronger than that thin chest. Line 7 provides a powerful transition between the two stanzas. The father's voice in the first stanza is speaking to his son and what is to follow is the person's song to his father. The two words however son and song by their closeness to one another in sound and sight communicate that the persona himself understands that he is in a way his father's song by being his son. The storytelling technique of repetition functions in an almost incantatory fashion to lead the readers into a place where memory is real. Lines 8 and 9 both begin we planted and lines 9 and 10 play on the word time. It is characteristic of the oral storytelling mode that the teller talk his or her way into the tale not leaving out the steps to getting there. Western storytelling in contrast generally values a more finished story product readers follow the persona in this poem through the general statement of line 8 to an explanation that this planting was one of many plantings finally closing in on the one particular story or memory he wants to relate lines 11 and 12 presents a digression as there often is in the rhythms of natural conversation The persona is telling the story to the reader in line 11 but almost addressing his comment to his father in line 12. The rhymed couplet at the conclusion of the stanza emphasizes the tactile image of the stand. The image of the sand brings the persona to the beginning point of the story which is signaled by the stanza break. The father bends over the sand pointing out to his son a place where the plow has overturned a nest of mice. The assonance of the vowel sounds of overturned furrow, unearthed and burrow, as well as the rhyme of furrow, burrow, draw together the strands of this image that is spread over three lines. The effect is of patience as the father clearly has with the son and the nest of mice and of focus which is required for anyone to pay such close attention to tiny mice while plowing. or even to a child while doing adult work the image of the sand which houses the nest closes the stanza and parallels the closing image of sand in the sun's hand in the final line of the second stanza in a gesture that contrasts with the strong hand necessary to plow a field the father lifts the surprise of these small creatures of his son to touch It is interesting to note that it is not enough for the father that the son see these animals he directs him to touch the mice so that he can feel the life even in something so small 
The carefulness of this small gesture is then enlarged upon as the father and the son together move the little animals out of harm's way, out of the hot sun which would scorch them, and back under a cold of cool sand at the edge of the field. It is again the physical memory of the sand that closes this stanza. Line 24 characterizes the memory the persona has just related, referring to the gesture of the father, his gentleness toward the mice, and to his son. The softness from this line moves forward to the tactile image of cool and warm and movement remembered in the son's experience of touching the mice. The effect of softness in the opening line of the fifth stanza is felt in this closing line as well through the poet's careful lineation into statement, I remember, then into the tactile image of mice and finally into remembering the softness of the father's voice. The poem comes full circle here and the reader realizes with the poet that it is the voice of his father teaching him, saying things about tiny baby mice, about the importance of protecting little animals that he misses. The tradition of passing on stories, information about life from one generation to the next is the focus here. Artist is not merely relating to what he knows to a generation that comes after him. He is presenting the tradition as a valuable lifestyle for everyone. The poem communicates the understanding that even in the midst of busy adult life, with its purposeful action, there must be time to honor even the smallest manifestations of life, even those that innocently get in the way. Artist the poet has effectively become the song his father sang to him, which he sings to the reader in this poem.